Hello Joomla people, my name is Mark, and today I'm going to show you how to password protect the administration area of your Joomla website. One of the best things you can do to protect your website from hacking is to make sure that the administration area is secured. Now, it comes with a built-in security, but that really doesn't seem to be enough in some cases. You will want to actually add what is called H T access protection which requires you to add a username and password to the actual administration directory on the server. I'm going to explain how to do this in detail right now. In order to do this your site will have to be located on a Linux or Unix server running Apache software. Assuming that it is log on to your cPanel and then look for password protect directories right here. Now you may see this in a different place in your cPanel because cPanel allows you to move these panels up and down. For instance, I could take the security panel and move it up and once I see the blue line, let go and now it is in that position. So now let's log on to this password protect directories area and then you'll want to pick the web root which we have clicked here already and click go. Okay, now you'll see all of the directories that are available within your Joomla setup. What we're going to do is locate the administrator and give a click right there and then you'll see a new window. What we're going to do first is we're going to say yes, I want to password protect this directory and I've already typed in protected area as the name of this directory. You could put anything you'd like and now hit save. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to our website and hit refresh and you'll see we are prompted for a username and password and it'll also say protected area because that is the name that we gave it. In this case we're going to hit cancel and we're given the error message. Now it's a good idea to prepare the username and password ahead of time and I've done that. What I've done was I've created a username, in this case I just call it test user and a password of YYY456 YYY. I'm going to type in the username of test user and I'll type in the password and it tells me that that's an okay strength. It's 46 out of 100 but that should be okay for now and then type it in again. It will confirm that it matches and then I can hit add modify the authorized user. But before I do that I want to show you one other thing. cPanel creates a password generator if you want it to. If you click on this you'll see this rather complicated password and what this is, this is something that is very hard to decode. It'd be very difficult for someone to think of this but at the same time it's extremely difficult for you to remember and what they've actually done here is says I have copied this password and put it in a safe place so that you can make sure that they will allow you to get past this point because it, they want to make sure that you have this password saved in a safe place. In this case we'll hit cancel, we'll use the information that I had put in already. I will click add and modify the user and then what I'll do is first let me go back so we can see that test user is there as an authorized user. Now let's go to the front end. We'll hit refresh again. That window will show up and in this case I'm going to put in test user and my password which was YYY456YYY. Hit OK. So now I'm presented with a regular Joomla administration logon where I enter my regular username and password and I'll now have access to my administration area. Thank you.